Hello everybody. Um, today, the plan is to try and photograph some hares. I'm at a location, it's, it's a field just outside of my village um, that I've been to a lot of times and at some point, I think a couple of weeks ago, I saw 14 hares in this field. Um, I'll try and show you if I can. So yeah, I mean, it's a field, I don't know if it showed up on that um, that video, but it's got cows in, but like I said, an absolute shit ton of hares that have been in here. I've come down here to try and photograph, um, photograph these hares before I got up very early. Um, I didn't really manage to get that many good photos of hares, but that's because I wasn't in a very good position and and half of my time was spent photographing a barn owl that I'd seen. I've been looking for a barn owl for years here, um, so I got a bit too excited over that. But, um, yeah, I'm hoping, I'm down this evening. I know that it's normally better in the mornings because before anyone's been out here with their dogs, walking their dogs, um, but I can see quite a few. They're just not in anywhere that's gonna be in a great position to, to photograph. They're just gonna see me coming from a mile away. Um, but I'm here with my garish yellow bike, which is lovely. Um, I'm just gonna ride around, see what I can do. If I can't photograph anything, which I sincerely hope I can, because if not, I probably will get up tomorrow at 5 a.m. Um, so you better feel privileged, because that's just for you guys. Uh, that's not true, it's for me as well, but um, doing these vlogs definitely makes it easier to, to try and wake up at the right time. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know how we get on. There is a hare right over there behind this bush, so I'm going to go try and show you. Well, if anything, I got far too close there. Um, it didn't know I was there, but I've got my 300 millimeter lens on my Olympus, which gives the equivalent full frame of 600 mil. And it was probably like 10 meters away from me. Um, it didn't last very long, it did, it did leave quite soon, but I got some photos that were very, I was very close to it. Um, to be fair, there were some photos I couldn't even feel that fit the whole hair in in the frame. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, the photos they had um, I think I can hear another hair. Yeah, unfortunately, the photos they had the fence on in the background, um, which I don't hate, but it seems to be normal for people to like just completely natural looking uh, sorry I keep looking at the hairs in the in the field um, yeah it's got the fence in the background I just, it's not the cleanest background basically but um, but I shall show you I shall show you the photos I didn't get any footage unfortunately but um, I'll, I'll get some Well, two things. Uh, firstly, in all my infinite wisdom, I forgot to bring the plate that uh, slots into my tripod, so I'm having to hold hold my camera directly with my hand, so I might be a bit far away. Could do that, I guess. Um, and secondly, the hares are currently right in the middle of this field, so I can't get anywhere near them. So my plan for the moment is spend the next 20 minutes with a little tinny, Satiski, um, and just watch, just have a watch, see if they, there's two specific positions that are the easiest for me to get into without 
without them seeing where I am. So yeah, if they start going into into those areas, then I shall tootle on down and get some get some footage and some photos. Um, but for the moment, I'm just going to enjoy myself. Just where I am. Um, I failed. Well, I got some footage just as it was leaving the path. Uh, I, I might show you that whilst I'm speaking over this. And then it popped out just into the field. So I got down on the floor, and I think I got a pretty nice photo. It's a photo I've not really got before. Um. So yeah, and then I was just starting to get some footage, and then, as is the way, in this village, a, well, two, two people with two dogs came along, and the hare instantly ran off. Sorry. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> um... But you can't blame them. It's they're fine to what the dogs. It's just uh, what I need to start doing is putting up a sign, something like uh, "Wildlife photographer here, please do not walk past." I'm not sure that'll go down that well, but um, yeah, that experience has given me an idea for a photo, which would be f***ing great. Um, what I might do right now is put up a photo of what I want without any sort of subject, the hair being there. And then maybe over these next few days that will be the plan. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm away for like three weeks in about three days, but I will try it during that time. But as far as I'm aware, I don't think hairs leave particular areas at certain times, so got enough time to do this so yeah hopefully the end of this video will be me showing you that photo and everyone will be like wow best photo ever but yeah we'll see Hello, well it's the next day, I'm back out in the same location, I didn't get up at 5 o'clock, it's the evening, um, I've come here just to try and get some more footage, but what I've really got is footage of hares sleeping, um, which is lovely isn't it, no yeah it's quite nice, but uh, yeah the only thing that I think I might have just got is quite an arty photo of the cows are just coming across so then I got the idea of seeing if I can get a hair photo of well yeah a photo of a hair in between the legs of the cows just because gives a bit of context as to as to where they are and stuff and that they share the field with the cows I've not managed to get the the dream photo that I was speaking of yesterday um, of the hair 
in the middle of the path with the sort of with the growth, the bushes on either side. Um, and I go to Kyrgyzstan in two days' time. Uh, so I'm not sure I'm going to get a chance to, to be able to try and nail that photo before I go. But that could just be a project for, for a future video. So yes, I'll, uh, I'll get a bit more footage and then this could be it. It could not. We shall see. If not, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.